All right, so I'm not sure if this is gonna work or not. This is what you do for special effects when you've got no money. Basically, I'm trying to make it look like I'm 12.9 centimeters tall. I mean, does it look like it? Does it look like I'm standing in front of some scissors and a ruler? Does that what it looks like? Does it look like the TV is way in the background there? Does it look like it's far away? Still not convinced? No. How about if we turn my voice up a little bit? Make it a bit more squeakier to make it seem like I'm smaller. How's this sound? It's getting better. There. Is that more convincing? If I have you convinced I'm nearly 13 centimetres tall, and coming up is that review of downsizing. The extra large is available in cayenne, moss, and aubergine. We didn't have six and a half in the plum, so I brought you black. But I really want plum. Do you think moss is pretty? You know, I, I don't know, lady. Why don't you just pick a colour, please? Dave? That's Dave Johnson. He never struck me as the kind of guy who'd go get small. Wow. So the decision to downsizing takes the pressure right off, especially money pressure. We live like kings. We're dying to move. We're really strapped. You want my advice? Lease your lands where you want to be. In leisure land, your $100,000 translates to $12 million. Wow. I just got another diamond bracelet. Pretty nifty, huh? Okay, let's go for it. Nervous? Little. I love you. I love you too. Today, you will undergo the permanent and irreversible procedure known as downsizing. All clear. All right, if I look a bit different now than I did at the beginning of this, it's basically because my light literally packed up on my last sentence, just after my last sentence. So now it looks like I've got this like horrible like Star Wars Force Ghost blue glow around me. That's just quite neat. You want to go to the Dagobah system. There you will find Yoda. Ah, right, back to that review. I'm just apologizing because the quality of this video is not that great anymore, so I'm sorry about this. I need a new light. Right, so you've seen some of the trailer for Downsizing. You pretty much get the general gist for the film that this guy and his wife, they wanna like get smaller because they feel it's gonna make a better future for themselves. And what's also been revealed in the trailers is that when they decide to downsize, they go their separate ways in the clinic and Matt Damon's character, Paul, he wakes up to find that his missus has decided not to be smaller. So the story is about Matt Damon starting and finding this new life in leisure land, or leisure land as we would say in the UK, and that's pretty much the story you get from the trailer. The problem is, the trailer makes it look like it's gonna be a really, really fun film. And to be honest, the premise of it, the concept of it, has all these elements which you could do so much with, like with someone who's like only five inches tall. There's a whole world you could play with to make it a really fun movie. But the more this movie went on, it felt more like a public information film. It starts with a film like addressing the issue that, that yes, the world is overpopulated. There is a big population problem in the world. It then later addresses um, immigration. It also has these like Mexican and South African people on the other side of the leisure land wall. And the wall in between them, they make it so obvious. The amount of times that Matt Damon looks up at it like, oh, there's a big wall between South Africa and North America. It also addresses the issue of global warming as well and how that could lead to human extinction. So for the first, like maybe quarter, the first third of the film, you're thinking, it's feeling like it could be a fun movie. Then the later bits, I'm sorry, but it, it was more trying to make you realize that we've kind of all worked together in this world to save it, really. And because of that, the storyline for the actual film, I felt, suffered. You've got Matt Damon's character, Paul. His character goes nowhere, to be honest. His character doesn't really go on a journey. He stays flat and the same the whole way through. There's one funny sequence where he pops a pill at a party, which I thought was, it was really funny, and uh, that was a good bit. But it's really not the fun film you promise when you watch the trailer. Pretty much everything you see in the trailer is mostly in the first third or the first quarter of the film. And the film was too long, I think. It was like, it's two hours and 10 or 15 minutes long. It's a long film. And I just felt when I was watching it, I didn't really know what was I supposed to be getting from this film. If they were trying to get the message across that, yeah, we all need to like work together in this world to save this world, they got that across pretty well. If they were trying to get across the point of downsizing, nah. And while I say it's not a funny film, there were a couple of jokes in there which were quite funny, but a lot of it's very, very serious. I think a lot of people will go and see this film because the trailer, it, it really draws you in. It looks, like, it looks like it's gonna be a really, really fun movie. And when I went to see it, there was a lot of people in the cinema as well. But the film itself, the storyline of the film, doesn't deliver what the trailer promises. If you're looking for a film that's trying to give across a massive global message, then go and see Downsizing. If you're looking for a film where people become smaller, just go and find Honey, I Shrunk the Kids on DVD or something, all right? I really wish I could say it was a fun film. I was expecting a fun film, but I think I got educated instead. Something very big is happening. Something top secret. 
Why did I downsize so that I could be here right now? I finally have a chance to do something that matters. You think we're in the normal world, and then something happens. Oh my God. And you realize we're not. Same as it ever was.